Lisa's life, like most other teenagers around the world, revolves around her mobile and meeting up with her friends here in Yemen's capital city. But as the only disabled student at Sana'a University, she also has a few other things to think about. Blind from birth, she's determined not to let that get in her way. I want to be a radio presenter at any cost, whether society accepts it or not. I will work in radio. At first, Lisa was an object of curiosity here, or even pity. But by consistently refusing special treatment, she's won respect and understanding. Lisa is no different from the rest of her group. She uses her ears and her heart to see and acts like any other university student. Yemen isn't the most disability-friendly of countries. With no structures in place here, Lisa relies on her friend Afra to help her in class and around campus. For me, it's Lisa who's doing the teaching, teaching us in normal society. We need her more than she needs us. In term time, Lisa prefers to study at a regular university, but during the holidays she also comes here, a specialised institution where more than 200 girls learn skills like reading Braille. Disabled people like me may be missing a few things, but nothing essential. A sense like sight is relatively trivial. We're endowed with principles and consciences just like others. Yemen doesn't keep official statistics on disabilities, but it is known that Lisa will be the first recognised disabled graduate of Sana'a University.